Hey, today we're gonna do a 100,000 mile review of this Aero Stitch R3 suit. I call it a super suit. About three years ago, I did a 40,000 mile review. Now we're gonna do a 100,000 mile review of this great suit. But would I buy it again? Stay tuned. Let's talk about fit first. I'm six foot, about 195 pounds. This is a 44 regular suit. It fits great. The arms are perfect. The chest is perfect. The legs, I wish it was about an inch to two inches longer. Everything else the same, just lengthen the legs a little bit. So when you buy this suit, make sure you do some experimentation with leg length. Because as I stand here today, it's a pretty good length. But when I sit on a motorcycle, the pants come up to uh, my above my ankles and you don't want to have high rider when you're riding. But the fit, this is a 44 regular. I'm six foot, about 195 pounds. Overall, it fits great. I wish the length was a little bit longer. When you purchase the Super Suit or the Aerostage R3 suit, it comes with some features. It's got elbow pads, shoulder pads, and knee pads. That's it, which is plenty. And the pads are thick and I'll show you in just a minute. I went and purchased some extra pads. I have hip pads, a back pad, and a chest protector. The chest protector will tell you, show you how thick these pads are. That's a chest protector. It's very thick, hard rubber. Uh, you can see where it'd be just a great protection if you fell and hit a rock or something in your chest. I'll show you some more of this uh, later on, some still shots. The Aerosys Juice has several pockets, and I'll go through those right now. On the legs, there's a couple zip outs. Uh, I don't use this pocket a lot. Sometimes I put an extra battery in there for whatever, uh, but I don't want a lot in the front in case I do fall. I don't want something hitting me there uh, causing damage. But there's a pocket there, it's waterproof. You have two pockets here. I keep some of my earplugs, some of my uh, soft goods in here. Not much so. This pocket here I use a lot. This pocket I keep my uh, wallet. So I want to get gas, I don't have to dig in my pocket, it's right there. It's waterproof as well. Here you have an outside pocket. I keep my phone in here. Also, I have a, if I fall and need help, my little uh, ACR transponder deal to send search and rescue to come find my dumb fanny somewhere, wherever it might be. So those are the outside pockets up here. On the left, we have a little pocket with a uh, little care bringer here. I don't use this pocket. Some people put their gloves through here, goes through. But I really don't use this pocket very much. On this side, I have an emergency contact information in case I fall, somebody needs to help me. This just sticks out inside this piece of paper that has all my information that might be appropriate to somebody trying to uh, save, my, save my life. And this just Velcros onto the strip here. Many Velcro steps on the legs. Some people put little maps here, map holder. Uh, on the left, there's some Velcro as well. This is the suit, the back of the suit. A little, little, little loose, but it fits great when you're sitting on your bike. It's not a showpiece. It's a very functional piece of equipment. So that's the outside of the uh, suit. Now let's go ahead and uh, take this suit off and I'll show you some more parts of it. On, but let me take the suit off and put it on and kind of talk about it when I do this. So there's, there's two zippers basically. Well, unzip your sleeves fully, first thing you do. Then you got the zipper, it's kind of counterintuitive. You gotta zip it up and off. Most sweaters you zip down and off. This is all the way up and off. So you take the first zipper all the way up, bend over, this zipper runs the full length of the suit. Then you got one zipper on the right leg that comes up to the crotch. Then just throw it over your shoulders, pull the sleeve down. Again, with these new boots, it's a little rough sometimes. And there you go. That's taking the suit off. So let me show you a little bit now about the pads. Okay, this suit I have, it's got a lot of pads on it, and I love these pads. We have the chest protector pad, of course. Here is the hip pad. You see, they're very large. Your hip's a big area. You need a lot of coverage. They do make a smaller hip pad, but I would go ahead and get the biggest one, and that covers most of your hip when you fall, because when you fall, you're typically gonna fall in your hip, and that's, that's not good. 
The back, you can't see it too clearly. I'll show you some other pictures. There's the back protector. This is where I think they can improve this suit. It goes down to the bottom, but it doesn't quite cover the tailbone. It needs about another four inches on the bottom to cover your tailbone. But overall, it does provide some protection. Then we got the hip pad on the right side, left side, and the uh, chest protector. So those are the pads of this suit, besides the shoulder pads, knee pads, and elbow pads. It's a great suit. I think it offers the most protection of any suit out there in the market today. Putting the suit on. Today I have a little a heated jacket because the weather's uh, kind of cool today and really I guess I didn't need it, but let's show you how the suit goes on. Get the suit all in like this weighs about 10 pounds. There you go, it's on, you're ready to go. So again, it's tough getting this suit on with this boot. I need to take the Dremel and uh, shave that off a little bit, it'll be fine. But I enjoy the suit, it comes off easy, goes on pretty easy. And one more thing about this suit, why I love it so much, particularly riding cross country, it, it, all you riders know, if you're leaving California and going to Virginia, no matter what time of the year, it is summertime, you're gonna run into thunderstorms, wet weather. I've ridden hours in the rain in this suit and it's never leaked. It looks like I'm wet as a rat, but I am dry inside and completely waterproof. So again, great suit. I love the suit, but when I get it again, problems with the suit. I've had a couple of issues with the suit. I had to send back to Aerostitch to be repaired. For whatever reason, after you know 90,000 miles, this zipper kind of failed and I, it couldn't be fixed. So how you fix that is you have to take all the pads out of the suit, no big deal, wrap it up in a little sack, put it in a box, ship it to Aerostitch in Minnesota. They'll put a new zipper in uh, and I had to wash it, reseal it, and all that costs about 180 bucks, 200 bucks, something like that. I had to send it back again for another zipper failure on the other side. Again, I think it's old age and 100,000 miles, it's zipping up and down, zipping up and down. Things do <laughs> fail from time to time. Other than that, it's been perfect. I'll show you some close-up shots of the collar, some of the wear marks that I have here. I noticed. Let me tell you why I might not get it again. I've noticed when you ride adventure bikes, oftentimes you're stopping either to help somebody out, uh, get help, and it's summertime, it's warm. To just take this off and then do the work, put it back on, gets a little bit laborious. So maybe if I bought this suit again, I'd get the two-piece suit just for that ability to take off my jacket and do what I need to do and put the jacket back on, maybe a little easier. This suit is expensive. It's about 1,400 bucks, probably with all the pads and everything, probably 1,600, $1,700. For, you know, for the one suit. If I had overs, I'd buy the Aerostitch product again. I don't know though if I'd rather get the two piece or the one piece, and I'd probably go the light instead of the net, the normal. I'd go light, it's a little lighter. I live in uh, Southern California or Central California where it's warmer summers, and I think with the heated gear, you can stay warm in the wintertime. Protection's gonna still be there. So I'd probably go with the light suit and not the regular R3. Hey, I hope you like this. Please subscribe to the channel and you'll get some more videos here as I improve these things. But thank you for watching, and we'll talk to you soon.